And our goal in this user interface was, was twofold. One, we wanted to give a much more powerful user interface to our pro customers. But two, at the very same time, we wanted to make this the dream user interface for somebody who's never even touched a computer before. And that's really hard to do. It's like when we do films at Pixar. It's really easy, it's a lot easier to make a film that appeals to five-year-olds and under. But it's very difficult to make one film that five-year-olds love and that their parents also love. And that was the goal of this user interface. To make it span the range so that our people turning on their iMac for the first time were enchanted with it and was super easy to use. And yet our pro customers also felt, my God, this takes me to places I thought I could never get to. And that's what we tried to do. We also have proxies built right in, so when you want to drag a document off, you can just drag this little proxy off very nicely. And these are what scroll bars look like. Right. So, let me go ahead and show this to you. If everything works. <clears throat> this is, um, very few people have seen this until today. We've kept this very secret, and um, it's my pleasure to show it to you now. So, let me first show you uh, what a control panel looks like, just some controls. So I'll just open one of these preferences control panels. This is sound. Again, you can see what sliders look like here. Pop-up lists, checkboxes, you know, radio buttons, checkboxes. Now, one of the things we didn't want to do was to put a big black circle around the button that gets activated when you hit return. So what did we do? We're using the fact that, you know, we have a gigaflop sitting here. Uh, <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe we can do something with it. And so, very gently, we just dim and brighten the button to say, hey, this is the one that's going to get activated if you hit return, and clean up the user interface. Let me just show you another one here real quick, another preference panel. And so we think these look a little bit better than the current uh, system does here. Same sort of thing, right? Very, very simple. So those are some panels. Now I'd like to show you some windows. This is a window here. And notice when I drag the windows around, it drags the contents around. Uh, it also does that on resizing. You notice this? Kind of nice. And you see the scroll bars here. Again, proportional scroll bars. You see what happens when they move. They come and go as necessary. And uh, you can see our three buttons at the top here, right? So put the window away, et cetera. And you'll also notice, let me bring up another one here. You'll also notice that uh, the windows have wonderful shadows on them. You can you see the shadows on the right of this window. Maybe if I bring up a text document, you can see it even better against white. Um, can you see that against the white there? All right? See that? Very, very subtle, very nice. And uh, windows don't even need to be the activated window to put them away. These controls, I can roll over and just put this thing away. All right? Very nice. So um, now what I'm going to do is show you an incredible thing that, that uh, some of our uh, geniuses came up with. You know, in, in Mac OS, uh, we'll touch upon this a lot, Mac OS generates a ton of windows, and you get to be the janitor and clean them all up. And one of the most annoying is panels, right? Like a save panel. So you go to save, and a save panel comes up. Now, a lot of times it's modal, so you can't do anything else in the machine, even, if, even on another app. That's ridiculous. But even if you could do something on another app, by the time you come back, you've forgotten which, which window or document that save panel's for. And you've got to manage it and move it all around. How could we simplify this whole thing? Well, let me show you. So here's a window, and I'll do a save as right now. See that? All right. Simple. And um, so, you know, I can be, uh, oh, yes. And uh, I can have, as an example, I can have uh, a few of these up here, right? And I can just say, you know, let's save this one. And it's very clear, you know, what that pertains to. I can go do something else if I want to. And uh, when I come back, I know exactly 
what that thing pertains to. Now, what happens, though, if, if the window's really small? I mean, we've got to think these things through. You know, and I want to save that. Well, this is what happens. And, and what happens now, what happens if this thing's up against the side and I hit save as? Well, that's what happens. Just puts it back when you're done. Now, let me show you something else that's cool. Um, you'll notice that the save panel looks a little different than you've seen before. Um, it, um, it actually is very simple. <laughs> you might be able to understand it. And so you could type something in here, and you have this pop-up list, which has your favorite places, which you get to manage what's in there, and your recent places you save stuff. And so most of the time, 99% of the time, when you want to save something, you just pick somewhere like documents and go save. Pretty simple, huh? But if a place that you want to save something isn't there, you just hit this button, and you get a full browser here. And so if you know your network, you can just go around your network, you know, pick, pick wherever you want. Right? Boom wherever you'd like to save it, or just hide that. Very, very simple. Very, very simple. Make sense? Right. OK. We're just getting started. Next, all of this, all of what you've seen now is possible because of the killer graphics that are built right into Mac OS X. And um, these killer graphics are extraordinary. And what I'd like to do now is demonstrate Quartz to you, just some of the features of Quartz. First of all, again, Quartz is totally PDF-based. And uh, so what I can do is uh, I can go get some things here. Let's go to the Finder. Let's go to Documents. Uh, and down here, I've got some things uh, from uh, Toy Story here. Hey, by the way, how many of you saw Toy Story 2? We, uh, we're very fortunate today to have the director of Toy Story 2, John Lasseter, and the co-directors, Lee Unkridge and Ash Brannon, in the audience. Where are they? Where are you? Stand up, guys. Where are you? Yeah. So I'm going to use some Toy Story logo stuff, because I love Toy Story. And uh, so here I just dragged the PDF right into here. You notice how fast it imaged, by the way. And you notice that it's fully anti-aliased. And uh, I can uh, resize it like this if I want to. I can rotate it. I can do whatever I want. And I can put a shadow on it if I want to. And again, you know, just, just to do anything I really want to. This is all being calculated on the fly. And um, you notice the shadow's on the bottom now. And they stay on the bottom, right? So very simple. Um, and uh, so I've got Toy Story here. Uh, let me just go ahead and drag in the story here. And uh, we'll put that uh, maybe up here, like this. And we'll drag in our two and uh, make that a little bit smaller, maybe. Oops. Make it a little bit smaller here. And uh, now, let me just show you something. Let me take story here. And uh, I'll go ahead and put shadows and everything, because uh, it makes it harder, actually. And um, let me go ahead and show you transparency. This is what transparency is. See that? So we can do any partial transparency all throughout the system so easily. Now, every app can do this. It gets it for free. Let me go ahead and drag in a photograph as an example. Now, you know, what does every kid in the country have on their minds? <laughs> you know? Right? Isn't that great? So another thing I can do if I want to is, uh, again, I could, uh, you know, open up mail and decide I want to send this to somebody. And since the whole system is PDF-based, um, I, uh, you know, I can just drag this into a, uh, oh, I've got to get a new, new viewer. And uh, let me just get a compose window up here. And I can just take this thing and drag it out here. Notice how it makes a little PDF icon and drag it over here and just drop it in. Boom. Now it's imaged in my mail view. OK. So that's what we're doing with PDF, and um, it's system-wide, these incredibly killer graphics system-wide. 